Hello and welcome. Just recently I picked up this very vintage guitar here right here. It's what I'm pretty sure is a John Gray and Sons Broadway. Um, I haven't been able to exactly date it, but I think it's somewhere between the 30s and 50s or 40s and 50s, but I can't exactly date it. It seems like it's a pretty rare guitar in terms of there weren't that many made. I don't think they were that expensive and I don't think they're worth a whole lot now, but um, we're just gonna be restoring the tuners. Um, we're gonna do a couple other things on this guitar, so subscribe to the channel if you like. It's pretty rough, so like all the lacquer and stuff like that is extremely worn, it's all cracked, but I was gonna do a full restoration on this guitar in terms of actually sanding it back down, re-lacquering it, um, fixing any cracks, holes, and things like that. Um, it also seems to be missing a scratch plate just here, but I've got some material to make a new one. So we're gonna be doing a few little projects on this guitar. Like I said, I was going to do a full restoration, but I really, really like the character of it. And um, yeah, it just tells a story. I love the way it looks. So I think I'm just gonna leave it the way it is, apart from just getting it to play nicely. We're gonna clean them up because they're quite rusty and um, I'm not sure what the actual tuning keys are made of. I think they're either gonna be bone or something like that. We're gonna try and get them a bit whiter again because they've gone a bit yellow. Um, that's probably about it for this video. But yeah, the main reason I don't wanna go too crazy with this guitar is like I said before, it's just got loads of character and it actually sounds amazing. The frets buzz, but I think it just adds to the character. Um, was gonna be a full restoration, but now I just wanna get it to play nicely and basically um, just work the way it should. So let's get a close up look at these tuners and I'll tell you exactly what I'm gonna to do to try and clean them up, um, get them to work and we'll go from there. Let's do it. The first thing we're going to do is remove the strings. You'll notice this guitar is missing some tuner ferrules, but we've got some new ones to replace these. Once we've removed the strings, we can now carefully remove the tuners. As you can see, they have a little bit of rust and discoloration. We're not trying to make this look brand new, just rejuvenate it a little bit and make them 100% functional. So what we're actually gonna to do to clean these up, we're gonna start with the most simple procedure I can think of, that way anyone can, um, anyone can do this from home, and that is we're gonna soak them in some vinegar for about three hours, and then when it comes out of the vinegar, we're just gonna give it a brush with something like a toothbrush. If that doesn't work, we're gonna work our way to more advanced techniques, but um, I like to start simple first. I don't wanna destroy these, so I'm hoping that um, vinegar's probably the least abrasive thing we can try at first. There are other things like electrolysis or um, just acids and things like that but i think for the start we'll try vinegar see how they come up like i said i'm not aiming for these to be brand new i just want to clean them up a little bit get off the rust so they tune a little bit easier give them a little lubrication put them back on the guitar and hopefully they're all good so let's get a little tub fill it up with some vinegar dunk these in i'm going to try and keep the actual heads of the tuning keys out of the vinegar because i'm not sure what that's going to do to the bone plastic ivory whatever these are um, i'm not too sure so let's get started on that Okay, so now we've got the tuners in a small tub and we're going to fill it up with white vinegar, stopping just under the tuner knobs. All right, so now we have our tuner sitting in the vinegar. I'm gonna leave it there probably for about three hours, but what I'm also gonna do is come out every hour or so and just give the uh, tuners a turn to see if we can loosen up some of that rust and just check on them how they're going with their progress. Um, but yeah, yeah, see you in about three hours and we'll see how these have come up. It's safe to say the vinegar is definitely working. It's only been around 25 minutes and the tuners have already freed up a lot. They look much better too. All right, it has now been three hours. So what I'm going to do is give them one more final good brushing off. Make sure you clean your parts off with water after it's been in vinegar. You don't want the vinegar to continue eating away at any of the metal, even after it's removed from the tub. All right, so now that we've taken those tuners out of the vinegar, we've given them a rinse off with water. Um, you don't want the vinegar staying on the tuners, it might keep eating away at them um, if you put them straight on the guitar. So I've given them a rinse with water and the other thing is you don't want them to rust by having water on them. So make sure you dry them really, really well. I've just dried them with a cloth and now you might be able to hear it. I've got them sitting just in front of a little fan heater um, just to uh, dry them out even more. So the next step is we're gonna try and get those uh, tuner heads, the actual dials, the uh, sorry, the knobs that you turn we're gonna try and get them a little bit wider. So I'm gonna try and get a little bit of bleach and just brush them on gently. Maybe leave it for five or 10 minutes and then get that bleach off. And we'll see if we can just get them to come up that little bit wider. Um, I don't wanna ruin them. They're actually full of little cracks. So the whole vinegar process worked amazingly. I'm really, really happy. Um, the whole machine head assemblies look really, really nice. You can see the copper come back through. 
I've gotten rid of all the rust on the shafts. Um, they turn really freely now. We haven't even lubricated them yet, so that's a good sign. Um, so I think this is gonna work out well. Next step, we're gonna try and bleach these tuna heads. So let's see how we go. We are now ready to clean up the tuna knobs. I have some 3% hydrogen peroxide here, which I'm just going to apply to the knobs with a cloth. Leave for five minutes and then rinse off. After this, I will dry the tuners out once again in front of my fan heater. You can get hydrogen peroxide from supermarkets, hardware stores, pharmacies, and even hair and beauty suppliers. All right, and that is it. I'm absolutely really, really happy with the way the tuners came out. Um, they obviously don't look brand new, but that wasn't my goal. My goal was to just clean them up a little bit. Um, it's hard to actually tell the difference. Like when I look at them now, they definitely do look better, but it's not like worlds different, but it's just because all we've done is clean off the rust, the discoloration. Um, and yeah, side, if you saw them side by side, you'd probably be able to tell there's a massive difference. Um, same with the tuning keys, they were quite yellow before. We've whitened them up just a little bit. I didn't want to go too crazy with the uh, peroxide or the um, yeah, hydrogen peroxide because uh, it could dry them out and they could completely crack. They're already covered in a lot of little cracks, so I didn't want to go too crazy with those. Um, I broke a string, the high E, putting this all together because I used the old strings. I've got some new sets coming tomorrow for this and other projects I've got going on, so um, I'll replace those again. But um, these are the strings that not originally came on this, but they've been on it for quite a while, so I was going to change these anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm missing a high E string at the moment, but yeah, it's all tuning up nicely. They're way better to turn. Um, yeah, I'm absolutely impressed with it. So it's come out good. And yeah, just a reminder again, it wasn't a full restoration, like they're not supposed to look brand new. It's just supposed to make them functional again and suit the age of the guitar. Cause like I said, I was gonna do a full restoration on this guitar, but now I'm thinking I really like the character. I'm gonna leave it and that's it. I think it sounds pretty damn good. Um, I love the character of the sound, like I said before. Um, that's it for this video, but stay tuned. There's more projects coming on this guitar. Really wanna make a pick guard for it. And when I make that pickguard, I want to actually age the pickguard as well because I have a bright white one that kind of won't suit this. So I want to age it a little bit, yellow it that little bit, just so it suits the, the uh, age of the guitar. And um, yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much for watching.